Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is a serious one, and one that has been concerning experts for some time now. We are talking about spillover events and their connection to the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the potential threat of other viruses such as H5N1. In this video, we'll explore what spillover events are, how they occur, and what we can do to prevent them. Let's get started. Spillover is the transmission of a virus from an animal host to a human. This can happen in a variety of ways, but one of the most common is through the consumption of animal products. When humans come into close contact with animals, either through hunting or farming, the risk of spillover increases. Spillover events can occur when humans consume contaminated animal products or when they come into close contact with infected animals. These animals may be wild or domesticated, and the transmission can occur through bites, scratches, or other forms of contact. Spillover events can also occur through environmental exposure, such as when humans come into contact with contaminated soil or water. The last pandemic, caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus, is believed to have originated from a spillover event. The virus is thought to have originated in bats and was transmitted to humans, possibly through an intermediate host. The exact details of how the spillover occurred are still being investigated, but it is clear that the pandemic is a result of human-animal interaction. In addition to the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, there is also concern about other viruses such as H5N1, which is a highly pathogenic avian influenza virus that can cause severe respiratory illness in humans. H5N1 has been responsible for several outbreaks in birds, and there is concern that it could mutate to become more easily transmissible between humans. In the US, which is experiencing an outbreak of bird flu in at least 47 states, the virus has spilled over to minks, foxes, raccoons and bears. And this week, Scientists confirmed that the virus had infected some of the 150 New England Harbor and Gray seals found dead or sick along the Maine coast last summer. In some of the seals, the virus had mutations associated with adaptation to mammals. Last month, two people in Cambodia were confirmed to have been infected with H5N1 bird flu, but it appears to have been a result of exposure to infected birds or poultry and not human-to-human -human transmission. Preventing spillover events is essential to preventing future pandemics, including those caused by viruses such as H5N1. There are several measures that can be taken to reduce the risk of spillover, including Reducing human contact with wildlife One of the most effective ways to prevent spillover is to reduce human contact with wildlife. This can be done through measures such as reducing hunting and the consumption of wild animals. Improving animal husbandry practices Improving animal husbandry practices can help reduce the risk of spillover from domesticated animals. This can include better sanitation, vaccination programs, and other measures to prevent the spread of disease. Strengthening surveillance systems Strengthening surveillance systems can help detect spillover events early, before they become pandemics. This can include monitoring animal populations for signs of disease, as well as improving the detection of outbreaks in human populations. Spillover events, including those caused by viruses such as H5N1, are a serious threat to human health, and the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic is a stark reminder of this fact. By taking measures to reduce the risk of spillover, we can help prevent future pandemics and protect human health. We all have a role to play in preventing spillover events, and I hope that this video has helped raise awareness of this important issue. Thank you for watching, subscribe in our channel and I'll see you in the next video.